I'm going to hop out. I'll yeah. leave the stage all to you. No, no, thank you. Firstly, thank you so much. And uh, thank you for always being here, being so supportive. And on behalf of, of uh, Disney Plus Hotstar and Thermatic Entertainment, we just want to say what a pleasure it was to experience the entire journey of Showtime. And for that, we have to thank all our collaborators. Uh, we have to thank uh, Gaurav Banerjee, who's in the house. Thank you for leading the way and paving the way for us. Uh, thank you to our absolutely fantastic two filmmakers that directed this for us both, Archit and Mihir, who have been so amazing. Uh, thank you to the creator of the show, Sumit Roy, who, has, who I've had the pleasure of working with on a film and many films at Dharma Productions and Dharmatic Entertainment. To Sumen Mishra, who's always the pillar that puts and erects this creativity together. Uh, to Apurva Mehta, my partner in crime, which always said, we are two, it's like two siblings running a production house. Um, and as they always said, it takes, literally takes two to tango, which goes with the way we run our enterprise. Needless to say, we are very, very honored and privileged to have this fantastic cast, all startling, all sparkling and startling artists, but also so committed to their craft. It was tough because there is something meta about this show uh, that kind of puts you into a spot of playing a part that you might have been on in, in the real world on a real film set. And to act that out is always a challenge. I'm going to come to Imran first because in my history of rapid fires, there was never been a more controversial rapid fire than Imran Hashmi's. I think he'd like to bury that episode. Uh, uh, I think it got in a lot of trouble the last time. Yes. And uh, a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. But I kept saying to people that it was because of you and the hamper. So do yeah. we have a hamper today? Or no. I mean, the showtime is your hamper, Imran. All right, then. Yeah. Fair uh, enough. Fair all right. Enough. So I won't make it, and uh, uh, we won't make it uh, as controversial. We'll just try and make it fun. We'll try and make it fun. Just yeah. a few questions All for right. you, and I'm sure you can handle that. For that, I'll have to change my tashma. One second. I'm prepped. You've seen this happen on TV. It's a, it's a vision issue. Okay, right now you all are a blur, but I can know. I can't see anything, but I can see you. You look gorgeous. <laughs> All right, you play a producer in the show, Imran. The one thing that you dislike about my community, producers. <laughs> it's very unnerving when a producer is asking this question. <laughs> so I don't know how to answer this, but... You can uh, be honest barring you, frank. Barring you, this yeah. is about all the producers that I work with. Not all, some of the producers. I think uh, some producers are purely driven by the commerce in films. And I think, uh, you know, that's a bit of a deterrent. It kind of doesn't align with uh, my thinking because they look at the film only as a proposal and the people who work in the film only as commodities. And me being a creative person, and by the way, I'm terrible at commerce. Yeah. Uh, that's why I never became a producer. But I think uh, I'm driven by the emotions and the passion in films. And any producer who's passionate, I, and you are extremely passionate about their films, um, I think that is where I think I align with them and I like to work with them. So that is my core concern with some producers. Absolutely, and I, I couldn't agree more. Though I'm taking that as a compliment for myself while I say that. What is a uh, rumor you've ever heard about yourself? That I'm a good kisser. <laughs> and All right, a, and you got a, your line there. No, 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 you one second. <laughs> and, and, and it's bizarre because I'm not good, Karan. You're amazing. I'm the best. Yeah, all right, okay. Oh, all right, okay, wow. That deserves a round of applause, guys. I mean, I mean, I... Uh, Okay, that stumped me a bit. Uh, <laughs> last time also, didn't it? <laughs> I get stumped a lot by you, Imran. Uh, the one thing about most actors, the one thing that the most, um, that happens the most uh, with actors and actresses and the most they lie about would be? I, would, I think it would be uh, the age. Okay. Some of them. <laughs> but you know we have access to passports, so we yeah, get, but we get that, all the that, real information. Yeah, but that's not a question you ask. Yeah. Uh, because I don't think you'll ever... You might get a truthful answer sometimes, but more, more, more often than not, yes. probably. Yeah. I just turned 40 myself. Uh, <laughs> I won't ask your age. <laughs> <laughs> I happily tell you. Uh, all right, and lastly, which Bollywood celebrity would you call for the following? For fitness inspiration? Um, um, Salman. All right. For acting tips? You don't I need don't need it. any. You don't, no, need I don't need any. Good, well done. Relationship advice? I'm good. I've, I've been uh, in this marriage, happily married for 16 years. 
without any con Great. controversy. Touch Huge wood. round of applause. So that I, does I, deserve I, an applause. The way some relationships are going in our industry, I think I'll give advice. <laughs> All right, who do you call for a good laugh? You, Karan. Thank I think you, you're very bro. funny. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. All right. I'll, thank you, lovely. All right, Mahima, I'm coming to you. Can you come here so everyone can see how beautiful you're looking? I right. genuinely didn't know this is how we would start our first conversation, but here we are. Well, it's, a, it's a good way to start. As I said, there's no hamper, but you get all my love. All right, now as a director, because I've already asked the producer question to Imran, what is the meanest thing a director's ever said to you? Um, tum se na ho paega. <laughs> I oh went God, on the set, mean. yeah, I went on the set and I was already obviously nervous, this was back in the day and they just walked up to me and said, oh, what are you doing here? I don't think you can, I, I don't think you're made for films, oh that's no. what they said. Oh no. Well, here you are, here so kudos to you, yes. that deserves a round of applause as well, ladies and gentlemen. What is the one thing if you could, you would change about our fraternity, if you had the power? Um, something that I don't like, which is the biased behavior. Right. People treat you with whatever status that you are at. And I think that's something that uh, not only in our industry, but just as a, just on a way human psychological level, we need to bring about a change. We need to treat people as they are and not for, you know, for their position. Well said. Yeah. Well said. All right. Uh, if you were to get on a dating app, what would be the one line on your profile? Oh, uh, okay, I'm thinking, shit. I'm the most boring Are guy. Are you I on can't... a dating app? Hmm, let's leave that to Mitch Teresa. Uh, all right, okay. Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah. Swipe right if you don't want to be right, henceforth. If, oh. if that makes sense. Oh, I like that. Swipe right if you don't want to be right. Oh, Let me tell you where it comes to relationships, things that go the wrong way are always right. Well done, Mahima. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oni, don't think you're going to be <laughs> you're going to be spared. I'm already crying because of the wind. No, that's fine. As I said, we're having a mind blowing time. It's always good. Um, what do you think the most overrated thing about our industry is? Overrated. Um, actually, there are lots. But I don't know if I should be talking about them right now. Okay, we'll get back to that. Just, you know, we're just starting. Um, do you, um, an actor you, who, no, I won't ask you that because I know I won't get an answer. Um, what is uh, the flirtiest message you've received from anyone that has made you laugh? You know, nobody really flirts with me. I don't know why. Either, why? either they become my best friends or they get really intimidated by me. Because maybe your so, friends owning them all. Yes, yeah. I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, a rumor that you'd like to spread about yourself? That I'm doing your next directorial. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> why? Why should it be a rumor? You've done such a spectacular job in one of our tentpole films from Master, and Thank for that you. we're eternally grateful to Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. All right. Um, have you ever heard a cheesiest, like a cheesiest pickup line? Yeah, I have, but uh, I mean they, uh, they were. I think they were insulting. So uh, say, um, like she said, I have also been told you will never make it. You'll never be able to act. You'll never. You don't have it. What it takes to become a Bollywood actor. So but that's a pickup line. <laughs> They're never going to go anywhere <laughs> with that line. <laughs> Listen. Y'all are all gorgeous and achievers and you have to be proud of your journey and you don't have to listen to anyone who can tell you how to live your life or who you really are. Thank you. All right. And lastly, uh, do you agree that in showbiz, love is just a story as in like true love can't exist? No, I don't. I really believe that true love exists in this world no matter which industry you belong from. And I am very much a part of this industry and I found my true, true love. love. Yeah, I did. Well, I'm so happy you did. You thank both, you. by the way, make a gorgeous couple. Thank you so thank much. You. And thank you. Thank you. All right. This thing about B-Town, according to you. About Bollywood, the sexiest thing? Yeah. Really hot people. Really hot people, I Some agree. Some really good looking and hot people. Yeah, that they are. You have any name in mind? <laughs> the... Um, See, that's where the hottest actor for me, I love Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah. Um, 
And actually, well, who doesn't love Shah Rukh Khan? Like, who doesn't and gentlemen? love Shah Rukh Khan? Come and we're on. right in we're his neighbor right now. Yeah. I think we can feel Shah Rukh Khan's energy from Manat coming our way. <laughs> yeah. Would you do a bad film if a friend asked you to do it? I've done like a small role or a guest appearance, but a whole uh, role, I, 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 I'll find it really hard to lie to a friend on that level. Yeah, well, that's, you, that's the artist in you then. Yeah. Um, a myth about Bollywood that you would like to break? They say it's unsafe, but it's really safe. I mean, I've had the best experiences, made the best friends and the best conversations, and uh, I met some lovely people. Like All I'm right. meeting you right now. Oh, thank you. And a rumor you'd like to spread about yourself? That I'm doing your film? Oh God, I'm, <laughs> I'm already casting my film as I speak on this, li on this lineup. Well, well done, Shreya. You look gorgeous tonight. And lastly, but not leastly, the very hot Rajiv, Rajiv Khandelwal. Please give him a huge round of applause. Thank you. Uh, what is the worst tantrum you've ever encountered with a co-star? Or has that never happened to you? No, no, never, no, no you never does. did that. <laughs> worst tantrum um, from a co-star? Actually, to be very honest, the kind of people that I've worked with have all been very, very professional. So I haven't Not really encountered... Me. No, no, you were, you were Now, do you see that. the tough time I have on my no, show? No, but it's been... I'm like, been, people just don't say what they feel anymore. What happened? Like, there was so much bite on Coffee with Kara. Now, everyone's so scared of being a victims of a PR nightmare. See, I have never done any of your stuff so far. So yeah. I, I can very honestly say that I've never encountered anyone who's been... Who has thrown tantrums on the set? No, people it? have become very professional. Which industry are you working in? <laughs> Maybe up the parallel ask one. Me, <laughs> ask me, my producer. Our <laughs> tantrums are always on our side. The kind of stuff that I have done, I think I have met only very professional people. Professional people. Well, you are very fortunate. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you have three actors that you think you've kind of based your actor on? Two actors or any particular myth of an actor that you think you based your you, character on? You said actors or superstars? Like, there's a difference. Superstar. Oh, Superstars. Oh, 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 oh my God. No, there, so my there was a very, very deep kind of meaning behind that statement. That's the truth. My character is kind of inspired by superstars. And, right. Uh, Who you don't think are actors? I won't say it, Rajiv. I won't say, say that. But then, no, 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 I'm not going to say that. But what I'm going to say is that definitely there's a Imran difference Imran is between... already warning you. Don't say it. Don't, say it. don't fall victim. I am not this. saying anything. I'm just saying that, yes, there is a difference between... In no, our industry... The between... writers and the directors don't have to take the flag, man. It's okay. <laughs> They're written it. So, all right. So, talking about uh, actors who um, have kind of inspired my character in this series. Um, it is all there in my name. My name starts with A. Yeah. I can't take the names, obviously, because... Yeah, 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 of course. So... A, you know, A, superstars. You know, then um, my kid calls me in the in the series, uh, Alman, Papa, Alman. Oh, oh. So, okay. <laughs> you're getting it? Okay, got it. So, got yeah, it, so got it's, it. it's kind of inspired by, 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 by these superstars. And <laughs> not really uh, them. I, will, I shall leave it on you guys, actually, because it's the writers who wrote the character. But these are the stories that we've heard about these superstars. I do not know whether the stories are true or not. But these are the stories that are fed to us by people who have worked with them. So... We just picked up whatever well, the writers what we've done is, um, it's a derivative of everything that we've kind of heard about. Ex some myths that surround some, some us. Some of them could be myths. And we also right. kind of have a tongue-in-cheek attitude about it. Yeah. It's, like, it's like we're making fun at ourselves as well. And that's the spirit which we hope that you're going to watch the show with as well, right? Absolutely right. Very correctly put. So basically, my character, please, when you watch my character, it's not like inspired by any one superstar. It is just a collective mindset that we've kind of picked up. And we're having fun on the show. All right, and we've had a lot of fun. Thank you, Rajiv. Thank you. So I'd like to give it up for Rajiv, for Shriya, uh, for Mahima, for Imran, and for the gorgeous Moni. Uh, thank you so much for being such terrific sports. I never ever thought that I would do coffee with Karan in an atmosphere like this. I've already ha always had a mind-blowing time when I've hosted it, but this was literal. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to hand the mic over to you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Karan, sir. And uh, I'm going to get bring on my entourage onto stage as we set the stage for the next segment. But I have to say, as Karan sir also said, he's never done it live. And it's indeed a privilege and an honor to see you live doing the rapid fire round. Yes, thank you for being, and as always, spontaneous is what I call him, right? Isn't he spontaneous? And I'm sure each one of us would also would like to have a rapid fire with him. But if you guys have to have a rapid fire, would you like to ask him a question? Or should I? I'll do that on, my, on your behalf. Me? Are you leaving? No, no. I was <laughs> going on the side no way, all right. to give you center stage. No, so... You so have a question to ask me is what he said. No, Karan, sir. So, uh -huh. you know, 
I'm sure, you know, everybody wants to because you, you get the best out of, you get the inside information, you give us the best content when it comes to rapid fire and coffee with Karan. So, if we asked about your tantrum, we would like to ask you on behalf of the entire cast, that in the entire cast, that in the showtime, that in the whole team, that someone has given you tongue or tantrums? No. I can say that this is a very professional team and absolutely spot on in terms of their discipline, punctuality, attitude and we are all at Dharmatic very, very, very thrilled with the way the show has turned out and how amazing they all are in the show. We look forward to wishing you the best. I request to please take seats as we call Pardekhi Peechhe, behind the scenes makers, creators along with you. So I request all of you to please take your seats. Which publication you belong to? And the most important question is you want to ask this question. You can direct that question. And also request all of you to please keep the questions related to the fictional series Showtime. And let's begin. It's Showtime. Roll out the red carpet for the Q&A. And if you've got the mic here, please go ahead. Identify yourself and go ahead. Hi, everyone. This is Sushri from Mashable India. Great trailer. Like everything one's looking for, really. My question is for Mr. Gaurav. Um, you know, uh, Disney Plus Hotstar has really uh, been one of the pioneers in pushing out bold and, you know, uh, stuff and content that is that can be unconventional and uncomfortable, really. Uh, wh why and how did you reach the underbellies of Bollywood, if we can call that? I don't think the show is only about the underbelly of Bollywood. It's a celebration of Bollywood. And I think... Uh, when you think about this country, we have so many passions, but right at top, I think, are our films and our cricket. So, so much of the Disney Plus Hotstar identity for the last nine years has been around both of this. This was amazing. And one of our most incredible creative partnerships for the last several years at Star is with Karan. And it starts with Coffee with Karan. It goes to a amazing number of films that Dharma and Star have done together, including Brahmastra. And therefore, it was absolutely natural for us to think about doing a series together. And, uh, you know, every time we have gone on Twitter, I have gone on Twitter in the last three years, this theme about what is so controversial about Bollywood has, has been center of page, right? Everyone's interested in who's working in Bollywood and why, and why they are the right people to be doing this role or not doing this role. So I think, you know, people like Karan and Apurva have among the most difficult jobs in the country along with the national selectors because, you know, nobody else, right? I mean, I, I take decisions to, to hire people in a team, but nobody else gets the incredible amount of scrutiny and pressure that they get. And I think some of it, uh, you know, the one thing about Karan Johar that I know, uh, having worked with him for such a long time, is that he's a sport. He's, he's a man who, who can take a joke on himself, and he's a sport. And I think when he thought of this idea, which has in many ways animated so much of the commentary in social media for such a long time, we all at, at Hotstar thought that that could make for a very exciting drama series. And I think all the people here have just made it even more so, uh, the creators and the cast. Uh, so hopefully you're in for a fun ride. Having said that, should I book a ticket for somewhere on the 8th of March? <laughs> yes, definitely go underground. <laughs> uh, good evening, Karan. Anand from Hangama. Hi. Hi. Uh, okay, I got to sit. <laughs> okay. So uh, if we count from DDLJ, then you observe the set life for close to three decades now and observe the life of a producer for much longer, I guess. So if you look at your journey and the producers around you, how has the role changed? And also what made you cast uh, Imran in this, in this role, which I'm clearly sure is very close to your heart and you've really seen it up close and personal. Well, being a producer, of course, you're playing a studio head, which is close to my heart, which is pretty much part of what defines me in the business. Uh, uh, well, I think uh, your first question was that, what, is, what have I seen the journey of the producer evolve? Um, I'd like to take a beat to say that, that the producer way back when my father was producing multiple films, in many ways and sadly was like not given the desired respect I think that producers should have been given. They were always 
kind of low on the food chain, like because you know we depended on financiers in those days and put a lot at stake when you made a film. You needed to sell them to distributors, and there was a lot of like fear and anxiety when it came to being. Um, before it was corporatized, I think it was a very tough time. And then you had to deal with actors. You were the single person, like a one soldier army on a set. I've literally seen my father at the end of an evening, a pack up, signing those chalans. And like I've seen it happen with my eyes. Um, so I think that the producer has really evolved into being now um, the captain in many ways besides the director. Like there are two captains, I believe, of ships, a producer and a director. And in my opinion, the biggest soul and the biggest uh, empowerment is more than them is the writer. And I'm glad we have Sumit Roy with us because I believe writers are more important than producers and directors. But having said that, I'm glad that the evolution of the producer has come to the point where you can be center stage. You forgot about me, Karan. Oh, you asked you about and, me. And, uh, yes, yes. Uh, and as far Some as words Imran, of praise. firstly, it was my desire to be a dashing, gorgeous, good-looking, good kisser as a producer. I haven't matched any of those four qualities that Imran has in abundance. I promise you, he said he's not a good kisser, he's a great kisser. I'm a terrible kisser. All right. Else, Hi, please. Samina, here from Zoom Channel. My question is to Apurva Mehta. Uh, the real life challenge is to create the real sets uh, for Bollywood and especially sharing experiences of Bollywood stories. How difficult was it for you and to bring that on uh, Showtime? So, you know, with us, the idea behind Showtime really was to give uh, the audiences an insight into the real and raw aspects of Bollywood. And you cannot, uh, you cannot give them a sneak peek into, the, into this very, very large industry without recreating its visual aesthetics. So, uh, you know, for us it was very important that the sets had to look what what we do and work when we are working on films today is how a set looks and that, those are the kind of sets you've tried to make. We've also uh, taken a lot of inspiration from real locations that we've used and uh, places that all of us are familiar with and I have to say a big shout out to Amrita Singh who's a production designer who's really done a terrific job in spite of the very modest budgets from Gaurav. But we've managed, and you'll enjoy this when you see the show. Thank you. <coughs> Next question, please. Hi, this is Alice Kara Peter from Ismalni. Uh, Imran, my question's for you. How has your experience been uh, working for Showtime, and how similar or different do you think is it to the world uh, of Bollywood? Um, well, I've had a fantastic experience working on the show. Um, I remember reading it two years ago, and uh, this was sent to me. Actually, the first time I'm actually meeting Sumit, and it, it's you know this this man has just uh, written something so amazing. Uh, what I love about the show, the structure of the show, it it takes you into the world of Bollywood from the perspective of the studio system and uh, the producer's chair, and then you have these wonderful, crazy, eccentric. Um, characters that are a little delusional, creative, geniuses, and it's got a very, very interesting story. Um, so, answering the, your second question, it is, it is about Bollywood. Uh, there are a lot of things in this show that we've kind of dabbled with uh, following the main story. Um, it's about star egos. It's about what is it to be a woman in this industry? It is about how, how a film is made. I mean, there's so many things that even you guys are not keyed in. What are the, what are the conversations that take place in a producer's office when a film is being made? Um, the vulnerabilities of people. It, it, it kind of unmasks people because there's this external sheen that our industry has, uh, this superficiality from the outside that it kind of unmasks. What is it to be a, a star on a Friday morning when your film is releasing? What are the vulnerabilities? That are, so stuff like that. So it takes you into the world of Bollywood and, and just gives you an in-depth insight of that. And it's, a, it's not a slow burn show. It's, it's something that kind of holds you by the collar and sucks you into this world, which is beautiful, chaotic, entertaining. And uh, I'm sure you guys will love it. This is, this is one thing that I felt when I read the material. It's like, it's something I relate to. It's, it's a world that I belong to. I've lived in for over 20 years. You guys will relate to it. And for the audience, there's always this allure and this draw 
to an industry that they've seen from the outside, but they don't really know much about it. I mean, you know, there's this obsession with numbers, box office, uh, but they really don't know how films are made. So it's got a little bit of everything, and that's, that's e extremely interesting, the way it's been presented, and the way Mihir and Archit have made it. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. You mentioned that uh, there's a sheen that lures you know, a lot of people, and uh, there's a very interesting uh, line in the trailer that says that it's very easy for people to get lost in this world. Um, how does one not get lost in this world? Well, it's a perspective. I think, um, you know, when people say that Bollywood is a very bad place or it's an unfair place, I think it's a perspective of a person that uh, is working here. If uh, you have resilience, if you can roll with the punches, I don't think it's an unfair place. But if you don't have that, if you're not willing to put in the hard work, uh, the hardships, the, uh, the heartaches on, on, on when, a, when a film releases on a Friday, uh, because you know, it all doesn't only come down to hard work. Everyone works hard, but also there is a factor of the environment, there's the factor of luck. So uh, you have to be able to take it on the chin. So I think it's a perspective of Bollywood more than what it is. And I, I, I always say it's a very fair place. Uh, you just have to roll with the punches and keep pushing. I've always been a fan of your oratory skills and today I have to say the way you've narrated the entire story, you've hooked us even more to wait for the 8th of you. March. Thank so thank you. And next question, please. Moni, uh, this is Titash from News 18. Uh, my question to you is, uh, you know, you are known to be, you know, a bona fide fashionista for your glam uh, avatar. But uh, has it ever been difficult to convince filmmakers that, you know, you are way more than that? Do you sometimes think that shunning the sheen is the only way to be taken seriously? Um, to answer your question, I think uh, if you're asking me if I have been typecasted, yes, of course. But I have also been very, very lucky with... Uh, directors uh, who had the vision to uh, to see me as uh, in different roles in different parts uh, so yeah um, i mean like uh, imran said that uh, it may be a fair industry but i truly believe it is a very difficult industry and uh, along with hard work, uh, it, it comes with a lot of challenges, it comes, it throws you, uh, there, there is the struggle that you cannot deny, there is no shortcut to hard work that you can take and I, I truly believe work begets work. You, uh, when you are focused on a project, whether, uh, whether it's a dancing or an acting part, if you give your 100%, if you, uh, you know, if you somehow get into the skin of the character and justify it, I think sooner or later you're going to get, you're going to land that next role. And that's been the only mantra of my life and that's all I would want to focus on. My, my present work, uh, what uh, I am here to do, like if I'm talking to you right now, you have my 100% attention and rest is confetti. I'm just going to take a moment, I'm just going to get some tissues, hold on, sorry. I know it's the wind, but chivalrous men do exist and I'm going to do that first before we move on to the next question, sorry. Not a wet wipe, if you could give me a normal tissue, please, thank you. It's a little windy and of course, as he said, it's going to be a mind-blowing evening. Yes. It's getting overwhelming as well, <laughs> but it's, it's because of the wind. So can you just get some tissues for Moni, please, thank you. Thank you, and with that, we can move on to our next question, thank you. Yeah. Hello, here, uh, your right hand side, left hand side. Uh, Vishal, uh, here, Shilpa here from Mayapuri magazine. My question is for you. Uh, Vishal, how much project is for you to work with Dharma Production, ke kaam karna, then uh, other cast, how much excitement do you want to say? Yeah. Uh, thank you for the question. I mean, I don't have words right now to say because uh, when I got the part also, it was... Uh, it's like any other process. Jab koi project ke liye mujhe audition hua and we cleared that to call aya ya you've been selected so we'll start the shoot and la 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 and uh, and um, you won't believe the same thing happened with this project too and I was waiting ki acha final ho gaya okay I think I discussed with <laughs> Mahima ke saath bhi I I just told her like I put my heart out ki yaar aisa hua tha and uh, I think we had a little small connect there ki haan aisa hua tha. But it's a lovely feeling and you arrive on set and you see ki it's such a professional world working with big names, Rajiv, Rajiv sir, Imran sir. I, mean, I was shooting a scene with them and I was in a vanity van. 
and uh, in such close vicinity with people i have grown up seeing so i'm just grateful for the moment yeah just grateful to be sitting over here and if nothing else i'm just looking forward to how people love the show how people love the characters and uh, it's a long way to go for me i mean this is a big big step big leap of faith and aage bahut hai bahut kuch hai थैंक यू महिमा जिस तरह से शो टाइम सीरीज की हम बात करें तो इन साइड आउटसाइड ऑफ बॉलीवुड इस पर डिबेट दिख रही है नेपोटिज्म है पावर स्ट्रगल है तो इन आप अपने किरदार से कितना रिलेट कर पाती है जब इस शो टाइम की बात करें तो Um, so I will first answer the second part of your question. मैं अपने किरदार से बहुत फैक्टर्स हैं जिनसे मैं रिलेट करती हूँ द फैक्ट दैट समटाइम्स हर ऑनेस्टी गेट्स हर इन टू ट्रबल शी इज ओपन नियटेड शी इज एम्बिशियस एंड दर इज मोर टू हर वेन हर लाइफ टेक्स अ फुल थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री चेंज विच इज आई मीन यू विल सी दैट इन द आई मीन ऑन एथ ऑफ मार्च सो दर इज she is intelligent she is creative she is ambitious and uh, yeah i mean i think one factor that i literally held on to was the fact that she never gives up and she will speak her mind no matter how uh, bad it gets and how you know no matter if she might get into trouble so i think yeah there are a bunch of things and uh, i think mihir and archit both my directors they did tell me that there are too many things which they saw in common as far as my uh character mahika and i was concerned so yeah thank you uh uh hi uh, from the telegraph i can't stand up because i'm going to be shouted at <laughs> but if you can wave out we could see where you are i'm here hi. got it yes hi um first of all a uh, happy birthday to vishal i think it's your birthday today oh happy yeah. birthday vishal <laughs> happy birthday happy birthday buddy my apologies i missed on that sorry but wish you a very very happy birthday Okay my uh, question is for Shreya uh, Shreya you play an actress who's making a comeback in the industry in the show um you know for a very long time we've had a certain narrative accompanying um actresses who make a comeback you know people who take a, a sabbatical uh, how has has that affected you in any way and how have you seen this narrative change over the last couple of years well it's changed a lot um when when a hero doesn't do film for like a few years they say acha bahut dino baad parde pe dikh rahe hain but when an actress doesn't do film for a few years for whatever reason uh, maybe even just for for few months maybe it's just a year they say uh, it's a comeback already um it it's um i don't know why it is like that and i don't there's why there's this preconceived notion about it but yeah things have changed a lot and um actresses like kajol karina kapoor um and now uh, alia uh, they've changed the narrative because um, you know they at, if you're passionate about your work your job you 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 love to come back and uh, be part of of what you love the most um and the way they've done it it's uh, it made it easier for everyone else um and for me um after having a baby when i wanted to come back and do films come back um there was a bit of nervousness i was i wasn't sure what it's going to be like um but thankfully all my directors and everyone i worked with they were very supportive and welcoming and um extremely um, nice about it and um it's actually really sweet when you go back on a set and then you know your directors are like so how's radha and how's life and and it comes back to work but um there's no uh, discrimination anymore um i hate to say the word but yeah there is not, but back in the day i remember it was very very difficult for actresses um it's getting better and uh, i think it's i think i would like to say it's almost changed now there's no difference anymore if i would have met you at a social gathering or say mommy I, if i was at a social gathering with you i would have gone mommy wow and that's a compliment you do not look like but you look like a cool mom then so next question please uh, hi uh, this is murtaza from filmy beat i also can't Where get up for the camera people will shout at me so i have a question for vishal and mahima first i'll go with vishal vishal when there are actors like imran and rajiv there in the show do you go them for any tips and ask them how should you prepare for your character honestly i was just looking at them perform and uh, i 
I don't know if uh, Imran sir is uh, aware of this, but uh, fan moment was happening, sir, on set. Pe. <laughs> so, but he's, I loved the fact that Imran sir is so, his energy is so contained on set. And uh, that was my big, big takeaway from him. And generally, you think that I'm, I'm going to be working with this personality on set and he's achieved so much already. I'm going to go after him. I'm going to ask him all the things that he has done. But uh, him, without saying anything, I took that away from him. Ki you have to, got to like, be in the zone. I, uh, Imran sir was sitting and reading something and that's how it is. You are in the zone, you're reading something, you're just trying to be on set, be present. And we had little conversations here and there. And when we were on the scene, it was all fire. And uh, same with Rajiv sir also. Rajiv sir, I, I, I was so curious, nervous, everything about it. So I was shooting with Mihir sir, and Mihir sir told me that uh, Rajiv sir is going to be coming, he's going to be seen, and he's going to perform so well. And I'm, like I said, I've, we've uh, grown up watching them. So it's a delight to be in the same room. Thank you. Uh, Mahima, that, uh, you know, in the trailer, we can see that you're pitted against uh, Imran sir's character. So, was there anywhere during the shoot you were a bit intimated, intimidated by him? Don't you dare, dare, don't you dare call me sir, please, for, to begin with. Well, to begin well with. he grew up watching you, so you, no, like, you, might, so old, you might have a something man. to say up to him. Hate that. Sir, uh, sir no, is a little less That's fine, but sir just kind of, you know. <laughs> I, think, I think this is an, an, an ongoing conversation. We have just been debating on sir, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to... Nahi se Imran nahi so I'm just going to... Yeah. It was um, definitely intimidating because of the scenes that we had. It was our first day on set. Uh, it's the first time that I'm meeting him. So I was really nervous. But yeah, I mean, as both characters, as you said, were pitted against each other, I had no choice but to uh, probably get into my character and play my part. But one thing that I have to definitely say about Imran, sir, that he is such a secure actor. You know, scenes with him felt like we were playing chess because he was doing his bit. He was letting me do my bit. And yeah, I mean, we had such a great time shooting for those scenes. I, I, I was really nervous because we didn't get enough time to prepare. Uh, there, there weren't any workshops that uh, you know, we uh, got to do together. So and, and lines were changed very often. And lines were changed literally like, but TV, I'll tell you. On By the minute. Yeah, but you know, I think television helps you on, as far as this this thing is concerned, because when lines change on the set, when they come to the set, when they script to the set, so I think, uh, yeah, it, uh, it, it was, I think, it, it, it was pretty easy because television helps you with, with that experience. But to answer your question, I think, uh, yeah, I had a great time. I was intimidated with his aura for sure. But I think like Vishal said, when I saw actors like Imran sir, Rajiv sir, <laughs> and, uh, and even, even Nasir sir, when I saw them, they are so prepared and they know their lines and they're so, I mean, obviously, confidence ki hum baat hi nahi kar rahe, but they're so, so thorough with their prep. It was like, dude, I have to be on my toes and I, I will have to like give it my all. And uh, just looking at them, having them around was um, such an incredible experience. So thank you for being such secure actors and thank giving you. us thank the you, stage. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, yes. congratulations, uh, the trailer looks pretty exciting. My question is for Mihir. Uh, Mihir, uh, Showtime looks like a succession story on, uh, with the themes of nepotism and real stories. It looks like it's inspired from behind the science stories. So is this inspired by any real life situation? Uh, I would like to say that uh, the drama of the story is not inspired by any real life situation because we would be very aware of that by now. It's something that Sumit uh, came up with very originally. It's just that we've been in the industry for so long, we've heard certain stories, uh, incidents rather, not, not entire stories, uh, that we've kind of peppered it in. So, um, but the main drama isn't at all. So that is something I want to clear. And Sumit can also add to this actually. So the central premise of the show, which you will discover, it's a very unique premise which you will discover when you watch the show, we haven't revealed it completely in the trailer, is, is completely original, uh, and you will recognize that. But when it comes to the actors, the filmmakers, the way they behave, 
they're all drawn from observation. They're all drawn from observing real people in the industry. Um, some of these characters are amalgamations of different people, so it's not like one character will only... Am I giving the politically incorrect answer? No, no, please go ahead. <laughs> very, very Everything correct, is very a sound correct. bite. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. So, so they're all kind of amalgamations uh, of different people that we have encountered, stories we have heard. And, uh, and I think, uh, I think what the way we've written them, they're all sort of mixtures of different people, right? Uh, and I think you guys, when you watch it, will have, uh, especially entertainment journalists, will have great fun playing a guessing game of saying, yaar, ye to wo hai, ya ye to wo hai. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy that process. I, I have a question, actually. Uh, who is Raghu an amalgamation of? How many producers? Uh, or which producer, if it's one producer? Uh, I'll tell you backstage. Two on stage? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right then. <laughs> I think if this works, then this is your input here. We'll do a follow-up season with Coffee with Karan, where we'll invite all of those people and they could quiz Karan and we could get I, more. I, please keep me out of this. <laughs> I'm already worried about the 8th of March. While I'm sitting here, I'm just worrying about what my plan should be and where I should run. And definitely deactivate social media for three days. I have to say it was very brave of you, Karan, to kind of just let this show happen. Because, I mean, you're going to get a lot of phone calls on the air, for sure. Huh? So you're on line of fire. I'm in the line of fire. I, well, darling, I've been, I've, I've been in the line of fire for very many years. I'm used to it. When I'm not in the line of fire is when I worry. Well, he's the man who actually spills the beans all the times and gets us no, all the no, inside no, information. So thank many you for doing that. Many beans have been spilled on me also, <laughs> I want to tell you. <laughs> but thank you. Uh, next question, please. Hi, I'm Manjali Mukherjee, on your right. Right, right there, on your left. Uh, I'm Manjali Mukherjee from Pop Diaries channel. Um, firstly, congratulations to the whole cast and crew. It looks amazing, and we are all waiting for 8th March. Uh, my first question is to Sumit Roy. Um, as a writer, I want to know what was the thought process like while creating the very unique dialogues that add thunder to each and every character. What was the thought process like? I mean, we uh, set out to do a very amped up filmy show. We wanted the sort of show to have the energy of the classic films we love. And thankfully, we got great dialogue writers. We got Karan and Jahan, who just sort of brought to the show the kind of punch that, uh, that we wanted uh, from it. So a lot of what you see there is actually their interpretation uh, of the of the English screenplays, and they're the ones who kind of uh, brought the sizzle and spark that you see now. My next my next question is to Rajiv, sir. Uh, sir, you've been a part of the showbiz from right from TV to now films, OTT, everywhere. I want to know when you look at showbiz now and then, how do you see the change? as an actor and as an integral part of this whole industry. Also, concerning the fact that Showtime is all about showbiz. I want to add a question to that. What made you, say, looking at your films and the work you've done, what made you say yes to something like this? So, to answer the first question, uh, a lot has changed. You know, the lines have blurred now. There was a time when there was this whole conception, the uh, mindset that certain actors will not work. I'm talking from an actor's perspective. There was this mindset that actors will not work in a certain medium. And I think all of it has changed by now because now there, is no, there, are no, there are no lines. You'll find actors and there are actors across the mediums. So that, of course, is, is, is a huge change that we are, we are witnessing right now. And um, to answer your question um, about me being part of this one and why did I pick up Showtime, I think because I am also still evolving as an actor, even though it's been almost about 18, 19 years of being part of this industry, I'm still evolving and I'm still learning. This was one show which actually, to be very honest, I had actually said no to this one. Because said, this is not what I have done. Though it was dramatic, you know, you want to work with dharma, you want to work with Karan. And, um, but still there was something I said, no, this is something very, very different. And then probably the actor in me said that, well, if you can achieve this one, because um, the character that I'm playing, I do not relate to the character at all. I, it's not, not me at all. But, to, but as, I, as an actor, I thought that if I could achieve this, probably it would be a personal victory. So, so I, I, I thought over it and I said, all right, let me 
be a part of this one, and I'm so glad the way it has turned out, and I'm so happy that that I took a, a right call by the end of it. I have to compliment him with the past nearly two decades of work that he's displayed. He is by the day looking dapper and dapper, isn't he? Yeah, he walked in the first thing I said, look at the chisel, you. So looking sharp and thank, thank you. you so much for giving some of the best always. And I'll say it in Showtime style that, Waqt ke madde nazar. One last question, please. Uh, hi, this is Bonnie from Midday right here at the back. My question is for Gaurav. Uh, this is your first fictional collaboration with Dharmatic. What more can we expect from this association in the future? Well, Brahmastra was fiction. Uh, so, this has been uh, the multiverse of relationships with Karan and Dharma has been uh, running for a really, really long time. And I have always had a sneaky feeling that a lot of Coffee with Karan has been fiction. But, <laughs> but uh, I think, listen, we have such amazing energy uh, with Dharmatic, with Apurva and the entire team that uh, we, we are very, very excited. And there is uh, actually a show that we have been working on and we are very pumped and excited about, but today is not the time to talk about that. But the dramatic hot star relationship starts with coffee, builds to showtime today, and there are there is one more series and a lot more that we are doing together in the world of films. So it's a it's a big partnership we are very proud of. Gaurav, thank you. Thank you for dishing out some of the best content always and keeping us entertained. Thank you so much. And as you know, she said. Garma Garam script, so Garma Garam content on and on. So thank you. Wishing the best to each and everyone on stage and also each and everyone who's been behind the stage of Showtime and uh, all the best for the 8th of March. And with that, a photo to banta hai. And for the same, I request all of you to please uh, join us to step forward. And uh, uh, director Arjit Kumar and Soman Mishra produced.
Thank you.